Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today's video is going to be all about packing tips or moving tips. I know a lot of us are all moving right around the same time and I've got so many requests for moving tips. Now we haven't moved a lot but this is our third move and I feel like I've just learned a lot of like tips and tricks along the way that I want to share with you guys. So that's what today's video is going to be about while you watch me pack up. But if you're new here I would love for you to hit that red subscribe button and let's jump straight into these tips. Okay, the very first tip I'm gonna share is while you're packing up, be very aware of what's going in boxes. I like to make sure it's all going into the same space and be aware of the spaces it's going into. So how it's being currently used in your home now may be completely different in your new house. So currently this is the guest bathroom and Savannah's bathroom, but we're gonna have a powder room and her own a bathroom in the next house. So I'm definitely packing different. So some of this stuff went into her box for her new bathroom and some went into the powder room bathroom and I just find that so much more helpful when you're packing so when you go to unpack everything you need for that one room is all separate in one or two boxes and it just makes unpacking a little bit easier Okay, so I know that stresses some of you guys out and maybe you're like, I don't know where all these items are going in the new house. I haven't thought that far ahead. When you want to do that type of move, I'm even gonna have a few boxes that way. It's like all the stuff underneath my kitchen island. I have no idea where it's gonna go in the new house yet. Just label that box clearly. Put all those items in a box, label it on the box, and also put items from underneath kitchen island. Then when I go to need those specific items, I can look for the box and know exactly where it was in my old house. And it just kind of makes moving less stressful when you can find the items you need to. So just be really clear when you're packing. It takes a little bit more work, but I promise you it's gonna be so worth it when you're unpacking. We can always stay a little longer We don't have a plan Just let me live a little younger Than I really also remember when you start packing, start in those areas that you're not gonna need, things you're not using. I know a lot of us wanna wait till the very end to pack because we need to live out of our house, but ideally we have three bathrooms. We don't need all three bathrooms up and running. I can go ahead and get our guest bathroom packed. I packed up all the towels, the shower curtain, you name it, and then this bathroom can be cleaned and shut down. So when it comes to moving and it gets close, this is one less space I have to worry about. You can do this with guest bathrooms, guest bedrooms, maybe even offices. Definitely figure out those areas and just pull out the main things you're gonna need, but go ahead and get it packed and cleaned and then you don't have to even think about it on moving day. So I kind of touched on this briefly before, but go ahead and get that cleaning done so you don't have to worry about it. I think it's really nice to have your home clean for the next people when they're coming in. We're getting to move into a nice clean home and I want the people behind us to move into this nice and clean home. I don't want them to come into like my mess and my clutter and my dirt and all of that. So definitely take the time as you close up one room, as you pack it, clean it, and then close it. And then that space is cleared off. You can mark it off your list and not even think about it. And I feel like it just makes it a smoother process too. If you try to do all the packing and then you have to go in and clean a whole house, it's gonna be super overwhelming. So definitely just take it one space at a time. And then as I'm taping up the boxes right here, I'm labeling. Um, I'll do more with these later. So definitely stay till the end if you wanna see how to take this up one whole level but right now I'm just labeling everything then if this box gets put in a different group or if it's out in the garage or I can't find it or I'm looking
looking for a specific item, I can read the boxes and know. I try to write on the top and the side. So if they're stacked up and I can't see the top of the box, I try to have it on one of the sides too. So keep that in mind as well. Another really good tip is to declutter before you pack. I have a whole video because I just did a lot of decluttering in my home before we started packing. But if you don't have time to do that, definitely declutter as you go. As you're putting things away, if you're like, oh wow, I didn't know I had this, I haven't used it, this is the time you can still get rid of things, start a pile, you can run it to Goodwill, you can run it to your neighbors, you can schedule a pickup so some donation company can come pick it up for you. But definitely do not pack items you're not using or not going to use. It's just a waste of time and energy. So definitely don't do that. Okay, when packing, you're gonna be using a lot of boxes. We have not paid for one box yet, so we've been saving all of our Amazon boxes. If you notice like on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, different areas that are local to you, people will post that they are done moving, they have moving boxes, you can go pick them up for free. I know a lot of like stores will give them to you, so you definitely don't have to spend a lot of money when you're packing. You don't have to like go to Lowe's and spend a ton of money on boxes. Just definitely just start saving them. When we found out we were moving, we did not get rid of one box. Another little tip is this tape gun. It is so nice to have. Um, I'll link one down below on my Amazon store. We got lucky we didn't even have to buy this. The people in our previous home accidentally left it from moving and never came back and bought it. And I use it all the time. I love this thing even when we're just like packing and shipping items. So this is a good piece to invest in. Don't buy boxes, but do buy the tape gun. <laughs> Another good thing you can also get packed is like anything at the tops of closets. I feel like those are areas, you know, it's normally extra items, not stuff you need. Otherwise it would be down lower. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and work on the top of my closet. As you can see, I have all these bins down here in my closet. Um, so in the new house, I needed bigger bins and they don't fit in this house where I had them. So I've just got them laid out down there. But then when I move, all I have to do is carry that bin and put it right into its home. I won't have to worry about switching over the bins. So that's why I did that. All my jeans and pants are already in boxes. So I'm already packed there. It's just when moving day comes, all I have to do is take that tape gun and tape them up. So just having little systems like that is really gonna help. Start packing all those things that you're gonna forget. So tops of closets, things back behind doors, underneath beds. You're not using them, but you're also likely to forget them. Or if you're not ready to pack them, definitely have a list on your phone or written out somewhere. Like I have to remember my front porch sign. It's not something I wanna take down yet and store, but I also don't wanna forget it. I have a big sign up in my living room that needs to be taken down and I need Chase to help me. So definitely just start a little running tab so you know items not to forget. I also have like a wreath on my back porch around my light. I don't wanna forget it. I haven't taken the time to do it. So definitely just start making a ton of lists because because moving can be so stressful and so overwhelming. Even if you have a lot of time or a little time, 
you can only get so much packing done until it's moving day plus it's the holidays for us we're about to host Thanksgiving so I have to keep my kitchen and running order but anything that I can clear out we're gonna work on Chase now is working on his closet so as you can see he has a lot of clothes we're not gonna take the clothes down until moving day and we're just literally gonna move them like that um, I don't like putting them in boxes I don't want to wrap them up in trash bags that didn't work for me I tried it last move it was not helpful so we're just gonna move them um, but like all his shoes he doesn't need that much shoes right now he doesn't need 25 hats so we're just gonna pare down to the things we think we're gonna need we left out you know outfits for the holidays or church outfits whatever you need but then pack up the rest Okay, so another little tip is just pack the items even if you're still using them, but then they're at least packed. So I'm gonna be living out of boxes for a little while. So all my makeup is gonna be in these boxes, but I can still get into it. I can still see and find everything I need. It's kind of like with the clothes in my closet. Now, if you have items that like in dressers, definitely let it stay in the dresser. It's just, we got a new dresser and we don't wanna open it up out of the box and it get messed up during moving. So we're having to box up our clothing. But if you have all your nightgowns and shorts or what have it in a dresser, leave them, saran wrap it up and just let the movers move it or your husband or whoever's moving it. Um, we just have a few items like this vanity for one of them. I keep telling myself I'm gonna sell. We've been trying to sell as we go, but it's also crazy trying to meet with people. Um, and there's just a lot going on in this household. So I've got to keep this clean. I've got to ask if my family needs it. I have so many of you messaging that you want it, but it's hard to figure out that whole transaction. If you're local, if you're not local, um, I definitely can't ship this bad boy. So I've just been like out of sight, out of mind. Um, but definitely just pack any of the items that you can and just live out of the boxes. And this is like when it's getting like 10 days out or eight days out. Definitely don't do this if you have it two months worth before the move but when you start getting close you can do that and then don't forget to start taking all of the prints and all the items off your walls because you have to have time to like fill and paint them so it's just like a list you just kind of have a schedule and just do something every single day So when packing, definitely try to keep like item things together. So like in this box, it's gonna be all my Cricut supplies. So my machine, all of my paper that goes with it, any of the tools. I just wanna know if I need to get this box, it's all together and there's nothing else really that's gonna go in it. Um, not all of this stuff will go into Chase's office at the new house, but definitely don't just get scattered and start packing one room into another room's box. I know you want to fill up your boxes, but you'd rather um, just use like a smaller box and it not be as heavy than to buy tons of huge boxes and to overfill them. Then they're really hard to move. They're really hard to get organized. And then, you know, you go to unpack a box and you have kitchen supplies, bathroom supplies, office supplies. To me, that just seems chaotic. So you rather just have a ton of little boxes that all have one thing in them. And I promise you with the moo, it's just gonna make it a little bit easier when you're unpacking. So definitely keep that in mind. Another thing you can keep in mind is like, you're gonna probably have throws or pillows in the spaces where you're packing. You can use those as fillers so your stuff doesn't move around. So say you don't have a lot of like packing paper, or those little packing peanuts or whatever you need definitely just grab throws and pillows throughout the room so same room same items but you can just stuff them in there you're gonna see me grab it here in a second i have like curtains i have pillows i have throws and i'm gonna cram those in there so this bigger box is full and then stuff's not gonna slide around really hard and you know anything get broke or scratched we can stay home.
I always think it's funny that like moving is all fun and games until you actually start packing and then reality sets in of how much work this is actually gonna be. You guys know I'm a planner. If you've been around here any length of time, I plan everything I have in my head where the next stuff's gonna go in the next house. Like I've just always been this way. I've always been a planner. I'm always thinking, you know, 20 steps ahead. And in my head, I had walked into these spaces and figured out, you know, I would need two boxes here, one box is there. And then the reality comes and you start packing and you always have so much more than you realize. It's taking so many more boxes than I thought. Um, so at this point, it's just like trying to stay focused. Don't start thinking ahead like me. Don't start thinking about the next house too much. You know, think about it enough for your boxes, but don't worry about unpacking yet. If you can just focus really hard on as packing the best you can, it's going to make it easier when you're unpacking. And I do. I have a schedule laid out for like day one, what I'm going to unpack, day two. I also have to do that because it's my job and I'm filming those spaces for you guys because I know you want to see it. But do a little bit of planning and then at some point you have to just kind of let it be, enjoy the process, enjoy the moment, and it'll all get done eventually at some point. <laughs> Put your faith in me, even though we just met. Let's forget about a curve. You could stop that, it's stuck in my head. It's me, and you. Both speed and my heart is racing, but I'm not sure I wanna place it, cause it only does this with you. Our bodies meet, I can feel the tension. Move us into the next dimension. Let's just let our bodies be true. So for me personally, it is so calming cleaning as I go. It gives me a break from packing. It gives me a break from thinking because cleaning just, I kick into my cleaning zone. And then when I shut those closet doors or I shut that bathroom door, knowing that whole space is complete, I don't have to come back to it. It's completely done. It's off the list really is super calming. So if you haven't tried moving that way, definitely try it. It can be so overwhelming to get like everything packed and then walk into a dirty house and think I have to clean this entire thing because by that point you're exhausted versus just kind of doing it as you go. And it never takes as long as you think. If you're breaking up your cleaning into just like a closet or a bathroom, it doesn't seem that bad versus like cleaning a house from left to right or top to bottom. So just take a few moments, get it done, give your head a break, give packing a break, and you'll be thankful you did it. Now I'm gonna start packing up like our homeschool closet, craft closet, Savannah's, you know, activities. I do have to be a little careful in here because we still have to homeschool. I still want Savannah to have a few things to do, but she obviously doesn't need a ton to do. If we're moving, you know, 10 days out, when I was filming this, we were about 10 days out from moving. Um, she needs some art supplies, but she doesn't need a ton. She needs some toys out, but not a ton. So definitely just kind of be aware of what you're packing away there's been a few things we've had to dig out from boxes like my dry shampoo being one of them I cannot believe I packed up all my dry shampoo but since I label my boxes so clearly it was easy to go back and find what I needed but as you can see here I just went ahead and put all the games away we're not playing with them right now we don't need them so definitely just go from space to space even if you can't get the whole closet packed up at least you can get a lot of it done on all the items that you're not using currently Baby, one day I'm hoping that you will be mine. 
you're running low on boxes, another thing you can do is fill up your dressers. So this is my TV stand in the living room. We had candlesticks out like on our coffee table. I had a lot of Christmas decor out that we'd already decorated and I didn't want to put those back up in Christmas tubs. So I just kind of wrapped up the breakables and extra towels and blankets. That's mainly what I keep in this TV stand. It's like for the dogs, for spills, or when we come in and it's snowy outside. Um, I also keep throw blankets in there for when it's chilly. I'm just using those to pad my breakables and then I'm gonna saran wrap that. I'm gonna saran wrap that Christmas tree and the movers are just gonna carry it out. So definitely keep it as simple and easy as you can. I wanted to show you a little update of how things are looking here. This is over like a three or four day process of packing and I couldn't film all of it. It is so hard to film, it is so hard to move. So I'm trying to show you guys as much as I can without losing my mind. So now I'm gonna head back in here into my beauty room. As you can see, these boxes have been used over and over and over. Like some of my beauty room boxes have like kitchen and laundry written on them. Chase couldn't figure it out. And I'm like, no, you have to look for my handwriting. Like multiple people, multiple people have moved with these boxes. So I find it so funny, but I have a system and it's working. So I'm just gonna keep packing. I did end up with like a lot of tiny boxes for like nail polish and nails, tools, kind of stuff like that over in the bathroom, even some makeup stuff I wasn't gonna use. So I went ahead and packed those in small boxes so none of it gets lost and then I'm gonna pack it into one little bit bigger box. Now if these were all heavy items, I wouldn't do that, but since they're all pretty light, it'll just make moving it a little bit easier if it's all in one big box. So instead of carrying like four or five tiny boxes, I can just carry one big one. But like I said, if these were all super heavy, I wouldn't do that because you don't wanna be moving a ton of heavy boxes that day. So if there's anything you can condense, do it, but not at the sake of like weight. have movers or a lot of like family and friends helping you this tape is going to be your best friend so this is just like masking tape you can also get colored duct tape it's all on Amazon they'll ship it straight to you I'll leave some linked down below um, in my description box from Amazon but this kind of helps everybody know where to put things so if it was just me moving I've got it all up here in my head I know what goes where but Chase doesn't Savannah doesn't family doesn't this is also our first year that we're going to hire movers. They're not like packing us, but they're going to help us just like carry the heavy stuff. Um, as of now, we're moving in on a Monday. And so our parents always help us move, but we definitely don't want them like taking off from work and they're just getting older. So we're going to hire movers to come in and just get like the sofas and the TV stands, all that heavy stuff. And then we will move the rest. But this way, when movers are coming in, our family, whoever, Chase, <laughs> needs to know where a box goes, we're gonna have a color-coded system so all the boxes end up where they need to be. So like I let Savannah pick her color first. So in all of Savannah's boxes, I'm gonna put purple tape on it. And then the day we move in, I'm gonna go put that purple tape up on her door. So the movers don't need to know it's Savannah's room. They just need to find a purple box and put it in the purple room. Then they can find the green boxes and put 
put it in the green room. Basically, this is just an easy system, so not everybody's asking me 20 million questions that day. Um, this will make it so much smoother. So like I said, I'll leave this linked in my Amazon store if you guys are moving and wanna try this out. Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Okay, so if you get duct tape, you can just close up all your boxes with it. It will use more tape. So if you don't want to go that route, like me, I just went and got masking tape. I am using the tape though. If you notice, I'm putting it where you kind of see it on the top and the side. So if they're stacked down below and somebody's looking at a box, they can see it. Or if it's on the side, they can see it. So you can kind of see, I'm just taking a piece and putting it like on the edge where it's both on the top and the side. Um, and then any pieces that aren't getting packed, you can see I'm walking around and labeling those as well. So the movers can just pick them up or Chase can pick them up or Savannah, whoever. And whoever picks it up knows exactly what room it's gonna be going into at the new house. This definitely makes it easier if you're gonna have friends helping you or anybody, anybody other than yourself especially even for husbands. I feel like this is very helpful as women. Like we know exactly where things are gonna go, but they can't read our minds. So this just takes a few seconds and will make the process so much smoother. Okay, and while I'm finished up all this packing, I did wanna give a little bit of a schedule update. You guys are watching this on Sunday. I won't have a Wednesday video just because it's the day before Thanksgiving and I'll probably have lost my mind at that point with family in town and packing and everything going on. So you guys enjoy your family time. I'll be over on Instagram if you need me. You guys know I'm always there, but I just won't be posting a video. But then I'll have another video one week from today and that will, will be one of the last videos of this house. And then next Wednesday should be my empty home tour as long as everything goes to plan, fingers crossed. And then from that point on, it's going to be all of my new Christmas decorating, all my new room decorating, my organization. So much fun content coming your way. I love you guys so much. I can't wait to share all of it with you. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I love you. God bless. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.